Do you uh, think... Angel Eric says, did the death ending to Far Cry 3, so there are like multiple endings, that's one of them, do anything to redeem the game a little for any of you guys? It's still gross, but seems to kind of parody the savior myth. No, not at all. That, no. Like, the opposite of that for me. Um, the death ending reaffirms the tribal people as being savage for me. And that's yeah, the grossest. That, that's like, that's the, the big issue that I had as well. Um, <laughs> So. Is this the same mission? I was in yes. a different tab for a while. Yep. <laughs> Glad you mentioned that. Oh, you said I, I actually honestly don't blame you. There's not, with you there's now. not cool. shit that's happening in this. But yeah, it's the same mission. We have a we have a young child who is uh, our fighting buddy now. He's our buddy. Take it slowly. How did they not did see her? Yeah. Is Aiden driving this truck? Probably. No, no. Yeah, there's no, another he dude. He's driving right? Oh, he's as right, right, right. The guy. Right, right. Oh, okay. He possessed a dude and not the truck. Uh, Camp yes. Randy says the end, that ending for Far Cry 3 is already a trope. You can find plenty of stories that end that way. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I get, you know, like, again, I, I can actually, like, talking about it seriously, I can see what the guy who wrote Far Cry 3 was going for with that, and I can, I can totally. understand what his intentions were, but I, I, that, you know, that doesn't make it any less weird or, yeah. or less uh, of an issue, I guess. Big sale um, on Blu-rays on uh, Amazon today. Oh yeah. Should I buy something? Um, I don't know. Skyfall. I actually do need Skyfall. I bought yes last last year. The Christmas present that Janessa and I bought each other was the James Bond thing, like James Did Bond you collection. Did you each buy it for each other, not knowing that no, that's no, what... No, no, no. Was like, it like a it gift was, of the it Magi? It like, hey, let's get this. Okay. Oh, I see. It wasn't like, oh, I sold my hair to buy we you this. Like, of she it. cut Dude, off Phil's no, hair. <laughs> because we have so many. We have uh, you can get all seasons, uh, or the first three seasons of Downton Abbey. On Blu-ray? Uh -huh. That's a really important show to get. I think you need that in HD. You can get the Hitchcock Essentials Collection, or cool. the Star Trek Original Motion Picture Collection. Um, I own a bunch of Blu-rays, and I never watch them. And that's also uh, White Christmas, which is a great movie. Yeah, I, and I, the Muppet Christmas Carol, which is a fucking incredible movie. As well, Austin. So, like I said, we we bought that James Bond Blu-ray collection. And then last year for Christmas, Jess and I were like, okay, well, our goal for 2013 is let's watch all the James Bond movies. Mm -hmm. And so far we have watched two. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. To be fair, I think this section of this game counts as a James Bond movie, right? Basically? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pretty Maybe much. one of the later also, ones. Also, most video I... games. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sure. James Bond Oddly games. enough, not James Bond space. video games. Yeah. No. That's, there's there's <laughs> one of the few that don't count. Yep. I would. I'd be into Ellen Page being the next James Bond. Mm -hmm. Jane Jane Bond is probably the easy way to do that, right? Sure. I'd, it'd be cool if she was still called James. I'd be cool with that. <laughs> I really like the idea that's been Same. around of Elvis yep. Elba. Hundred percent. Fucking. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to be very yep. upset because that's. I don't think so, it will. But. So. Oh, oh, but it's so perfect. It's so it's perfect. So perfect. It's so fucking good. <laughs> There was um, another like iconic long-running character that I was thinking about would be really cool as a lady recently, and I can't remember what it is now. Hmm? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Right. Be cool with this. Yeah. Hugh Grant. Yep, Hugh, Lady Hugh Grant. Mm -hmm. Hugh Grant. <laughs> the classic long-running character. Yep. <laughs> that, that Saturday Night Live character, uh, Hugh Grant. I, I'm just waiting for the world where Obama could be a lady. That's really... Yeah. That's what I know will have real equality. Act 1 says, Bond man, phew, try not to gag every five minutes during a Pierce Brosnan installment. Yeah, yeah, dude. First date I ever man. went on, I took a girl to go see uh, fucking Tomorrow Never Dies. I sure I sure liked those Pierce Brosnan <laughs> Bond movies a lot more when I was a teenager than yeah, I same. do now. <laughs> yep. I really liked them as a teenager, and man, they're hard to watch now. They're bad. We laugh through the even whole thing. Even the best of them date. are hard to watch, yeah. I feel like. Even, even like, like uh, GoldenEye is really hard yeah. to watch. That's rough, man. So is she abandoning this child soldier? Like, she gonna listen, do? she can't even understand anything he's saying. Do they not give him subtitles or anything? No, he's speaking some goofy language. I don't know. Right. 
It's, it's, probably, it's probably made up. Oh, what if it was? What if David Cage just made up the language? Oh. Oh, that would be the actual worst. I don't know, just make him say some gooba gaba gooba stuff. I don't know. That's my David David kind of, that's the Cage impression. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the dumb thing is they wouldn't have to do that. Because they could just they could just set this in one of the parts of Africa where they just speak French. Mm -hmm. There's several. There are several. Just do that. Well, this is, I think they they said it was in North Africa too, right? Which would mm -hmm. be one of like more likely to be one of the areas where they mm -hmm. do speak French. I can't believe that they made Solid Snake a girl in this one. Maybe that's Maybe. what it was. Was it? No. I didn't think so. I knew that that feminist joining, joining Konami was going to ruin everything. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't even. I, can't. Oh. I would play a Metal Gear game about... Like starring a female character, though that'd be pretty good. Of course. Yeah, if 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 it was good, it would be good. Like, yeah, that could also be so bad. That could also be Super Princess Peach, where she has oh, a yeah. makeup kit and <sighs> has emotions and her crying her powers. You know what I mean? Like that. I, Kojima could but drop the ball. That so. Yeah, sure. Female characters. Yes. Whoa! Spoilers. Not spoilers. Whatever. Yeah. They, they've said it publicly. Oh, have they? That peach is a Yeah. <laughs> also Toad. And Birdo. And Birdo. Well, no, not true. Birdo is I don't know what Birdo is. Have we have is that is that confirmed one way or another? I've been on I, we've had We've had this discussion. Recently, right? Very recently, I know. Like, I feel like I've been on this wiki before. Like recently. Just recreationally. I feel Funsies. like, in general, Birdo is positioned as the Yoshi with a bow on it, so I'm, you know... Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, according to the North American Instruction Manual, Super Mario Bros. 2, page 27, I'm reading this like a court document, Birdo thinks he <laughs> is a girl and likes to be called Birdetta. He likes to wear a bow on his head and shoot eggs from his mouth. The statement Wait, applies. isn't that... When's that from? Which game was that from? Super Mario, Mario Bros. 2. 2. The original appearance of Yeah. The statement um, applies to all translations of the title. In Japan, Catherine is a male as well. It likes to believe he is female. Like Birdo, he likes to be called Kathy as opposed to his real name, Catherine. As recently as Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Birdo's trophy description describes the, the character as gender indeterminate and uses the pronoun it rather, rather than <sighs> gender specific pronouns wow, such as he or she. That's what they decided to go with, huh? See, that's what I was I was wondering if if because I knew this stuff from from before, but I was wondering if <laughs> no, more recently they just know. kind I'm of. Trying to figure this out. I was wondering if more recently they had a real, like, complex that up. QTE just to mm -hmm. pick up a gun. This is the worst. I've got to do it. That's a shame. The confusion surrounding Birdo's gender has also been addressed in a light-hearted manner, such as when Popple pauses before something and carry calling Birdo a dame in Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga. It is also shown in the U.S. Manual of Mario Golf Toadstool T Tour, where all the female characters have a pink dot behind them, including Birdo. And I don't know how that's playful at all. In Super Mario Advance, though, the Birdos in that game have female voices, but the pitch level of the voices vary, depending on Birdo's color. The pink Birdo had the highest pitch voice, while the green Birdo had the lowest pitch voice in that game. The red Birdo's voice had a pitch level that's in between. Thanks, Nintendo Wiki. We're talking about Birdo as, like, eight people are mowed down. <laughs> <laughs> In the game Captain Rainbow, Birdo is heard with a deep male voice, which gets high pitched when she gets angry or excited. Additionally, in the game's second trailer, Little Mac from Mike Tyson's Punch Out speaks about Birdo, calling her a young lady, only to take a short b break and ponder. His vi final verdict is depending on one's point of view, she is a young lady. In the game, Birdo's indeterminate gender also forms the basis for a side quest to find proof that she is a girl, which is found but Wait, censored. What? What is in what Captain, game? Captain <laughs> Rainbow? Which is a Wii game that came out in 2008, I think only in Japan. Oh, that, that game was super weird looking. Yeah, it, it sounded really weird looking, didn't it? 
Phil, did you accomplish your task? Is that what that just was? She or did you just murder a bunch of people for no reason? I think reason? he killed the, the chief bad one. She said I need to, like, make sure that he's dead. I don't know how to Read his email. do that. <laughs> I mean, you have a ghost dude who can see souls and stuff, so... Yeah, like, I'm not yeah. seeing any souls. I don't know. Did he run off? Maybe you should murder more people. You should look in that tire. Oh, I need to open the door <laughs> for her to go in. Oh. Whoa, that's... That's one way to open the door, I guess. It's <laughs> unnecessary. Why are you, what are you Xing through here? Not vomiting? I don't understand. It was just to look, I guess. Right. Wait, this makes her physically ill? Maybe they smell real bad. David Cage brings says, smell not it. trying to get Nintendo off the hook, but when yeah. it comes to gender slash race, Japan guys, yikes. No, that's, you're right. Uh, uh, They're not. I don't, like, why say that if you, like, what do you mean not trying to get Nintendo off the hook, but. Oh, I, I think he's, you know what I mean? Like, I think he's just pointing out, like, they're. Yeah, it's, I I have really mixed feelings about things are not great in Japan yeah. when it comes to race and gender representations. No, they're not. But Nintendo is a multinational company. With, oh no no no! I, I'm just, again like I'm so, just saying like I don't know. I don't that, think, that I argument think you can say that without saying like I, I don't think he's bringing it up as an argument. I think he's just saying okay. like he's just. I heard noting. that argument about a billion times this year after I wrote my Animal Crossing piece. Like a billion people responded to that piece and said, "Well, you have to understand that in Japan they don't understand race issues and." Meanwhile, later that year in Pokemon, you could pick a character of, uh, of color. Um, and I think that it's incredibly... Oh, that kid followed her gross. Yeah. Um, probably... Uh, uh, it's his dad, isn't it? Probably. <sighs> yeah, Digital Eric above said, Japan is not the place to go for understanding of gender and race issues. That's why I'm saying, though, like... On one hand, you're saying you're not trying to get them off the hook, but on the other hand, you're trying to say, oh, this is going to go bad. Oh, boy. Um, Boxing T Horse also points out, um, as much as it, you know, we can say LOL Japan, uh, things aren't yes. great about race and gender issues in anywhere, really. In a lot of places. Yeah. Um, We've got and, plenty of examples of them not being great. And, and also, it, it's, a, it's one thing to say that a company makes products that are... Um, less than what we want them to be and then apply that to an entire nation of people. 100%. Exactly. Yeah, try and, it, and comfort him. That's... Yep. Yeah. Cool. You fucked up that one, Paige. Because <laughs> I, mean, I guarantee yeah, there are a lot of people walking around hard you that don't give a shit about race or gender. Guys, yes. This is why she runs away. We're figuring it out. Putting the yep. pieces together. M.M. Gant says, good job, Jody. You killed the one African with a child, so now you have to feel bad about all this murder. <laughs> This was a sneaking mission, Brody. You. Is that a tripwire? Uh, oh, you yeah, got shot. She got shot. Yeah, in the leg. This is going great. Is this better or worse than Resident Evil 5? No, oh, way better. Absolutely better. There's no. I have no question about that. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's, like, I don't know. That's not. It's still using a lot of, this, a lot of similar imagery to a lot of similar effect. Um. But there's a difference between that and like some of the shit at the beginning of Resident Evil Five, is just gross. It's just also you like, know at least you know at least they are there. Is, there is some sense of like they're trying to make that point of like hey, mm -hmm. like maybe maybe we're putting our no like maybe we're putting our nose where it doesn't belong. Maybe these people don't deserve to yes. be killed. Like maybe yeah. they're regular ass people with family also, mm -hmm. but also they're shooting civilians. So I don't know what. Yeah. Whatever. Also, I don't know, why not just shoot the guy who was super the guy you were there to kill and not <laughs> shoot everyone else in the room? Or ghost choke them. Like, I feel like that's a thing she's done before. Or it's just more fuck, fuck, fuck. Yep. Can I just, can I just ghost what is this for you that's happening? Oh, boy. Oh, maybe I can heal? Yeah. We've got this particle effect, and damn it, we're gonna use it. <laughs> that 
that's probably a good plan. <laughs> Go on the roof, they can't shoot you there. Just hide up there, you'll be fine. Find, a, find some hay to jump into. I thought her leg was fixed, but... I think it's only mostly was. fixed. <sighs> I'm such a shitty ghost. Yeah, like, as far as ghosts go, like, not anywhere, like... I, I would prefer the ghost from... What was, what was, uh... Well, great, this is... Ghost, you're thinking of the movie Ghost. No, not the enough. movie Ghost. No, pretty sure you're thinking about Ghost. That seems like what you were talking about. No, the lady on an yeah, angel. Yeah, I would prefer the ghost from Ghost also. Yep, Ghost is he's pretty good. What was that lady's name? Ghost Dad. Uh, Patrick ghost Bill Cosby. You're thinking of yeah. Patrick Ghost Dad Swayze Cosby. Giles? <laughs> yeah. Not Giles. No, who was the main lady in Oh, angel? good. Call Cordelia. 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 What was Cordelia's ghost's name? Oh, she had that apartment ghost. I don't think that really came up much. Like no, he had a name episodes. though. Oh, I feel like it's over the day. And he he had to help them once when she got sick or possessed or Lucky, something. Lucky Dingo says, "To be mm. fair, dem particles, but dem particles though." They are they are really good particles. Dennis Pearson. Dennis, that's right, what it is. Dennis. Dennis was a great ghost. I guess. Mm. No, he was really helpful and like. Sometimes he was not helpful for quite some time. <laughs> Just whenever she first moved in, but then like, and sometimes he was kind of a dick. They found an I think like she had dudes over once, right? a dude. And then yeah. was all that's right. Maybe that's where David Cage got the idea for for Maybe. what's going on in this game. The Cordelia Chase story. Yeah. God. Brody, you okay? You just murdered like forty people, and but you're kind of quiet. I know this one was tough. I like you call her Brody. Brody. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's a new name. Box and Theora says, I just found the perfect quote to sum up this game. I believe that ghosts are like dogs and just sort of do things arbitrarily. Yep, that's about right. Warrior64 says, I don't think I got extracted on the roof when I played this. What happened when you played it, dude? Also, Wario, what do you think about this game? I'm curious to get your Me thoughts. Me too, I'm also curious about his thoughts. This is a nice plane. It's the yeah, private. Yeah. It's the private helicopter of the boss. He said. This is a helicopter. It's a helicopter. I don't know. I think that was what he said. Maybe what is the in-flight movie? Yay, free pills. <laughs> it's fucking grown-ups again. Mm. It's grown-ups <laughs> on the way here, and it's grown-ups back. It's oh, ridiculous. Not fucking grown-ups. That's a different movie. No. Okay. Well, okay. It is a private chat. <laughs> also has Adam Sandler, but. <laughs> Oh, on my way, on my way back from uh, Tokyo, the last time I watched uh, all of Star Trek Into Darkness dubbed True. in Japanese <laughs> uh, because I didn't realize that there was. A, oh, this is important. Oh yeah, this is a whole thing. You guys should pay attention. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. And now, sources report that he and all his government were assassinated in what appears to be an unclaimed... Really the they shouldn't have, have the on. news on. Really? <laughs> also, Hopes were high I, that the newly recognized I don't know. Jamal Sharif would be President! The hostilities that have ravaged his country Can you say that more years. like uh, Solid Snake would? President! There it is. And what appears to be nothing less Warrior 64 says, I enjoyed the game, although the pacing was pretty whack. Fine, yeah, the pacing is weirdness. Your boyfriend likes it. We're not, we're not, we're not like, oh what? Whoa, whoa, what is happening to our Skype screen share right now? Oh, that's, that's the game. That's in game. Uh, Apparently, that was weird. Uh, yeah, Warrior 64, I will say, I'm, I'm not, I'm not totally hating the game, although I'm liking it less. Yeah, the second half. We're not politicians. We had our orders. God, that ordered was weird. Him. That was a weird. So you lied mm. to me. Welcome to the CIA, Jody. Oh, you should kill him. Require practice in case you have kill him. Now we have kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Why don't you just another dude? He's way better than this guy. Okay, Choke right. him on his fucking puffy 2002 vest. Dude, this might be in 2002 though, Jenny. 
Yeah, yeah it is one. a helicopter. It totally is a helicopter. Weird. Is it the Hello? Warlord's helicopter? No, no. It's, no. The, it's the CIA <laughs> boss's helicopter. Oh. Okay. Oh, helicopter danger. Remember the very first time you showed off this game? I don't think that video glitch was present in my game. That could have been something weird with my capture kit, maybe? Mm -hmm. That's weird, though. It's like, it literally Felch. only happened that once. Maybe Man, maybe it's haunted. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. piss off crazy ghost girl. Like, she almost yeah, choked out her dad once, so... Can right you crash, just crash this whole thing? Anyway, I think your capture kit is haunted. With a ghost. The spooky ghost of Christmas ghosts. Uh, that's not good. She's it's just it. gonna show ghost chill. Also, uh, Jordan, you called him a warlord, and I think we just found out that he was not a warlord. <laughs> he was the president. He was actually the president, and as, as ADC Overdose points out, objectively good and not murdering <laughs> civilians even a little. Mm -hmm. Is that a restaurant called Chicken's Great? A chicken is great. I would go to a restaurant called Chicken's Great. That's just straight also, up. You also, wait. Did, did you? I chicken. thought you were in Africa still. No, you took the helicopter back. Oh, that's that's not a good thing to make your transatlantic flights in. What happened? Unless this is Europe. I, who did she call? Probably Nathan Dawkins. Mm. Yep. No, they ran away. You can't run away from them. They'll hunt you down. Why was the dude who had just been elected president like meeting in some like worn down shitty sure building? Like... Listen, their yeah, infrastructure crap. needs a. Mm. You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Jody, listen, I'll tell them. But that one line, uh, he was the president, he was the democratically elected president. <laughs> Uh, that is that is the line that Ludwig Kitzman of Joystick reference cites every time he has to talk about the writing in this game. <laughs> and how great it is, or yeah, yeah, yeah. How superb it is. Just top notch, top to bottom. <laughs> Tovo's getting real angry now. Yeah, <laughs> everything about this could have been written better by a kindergarten child. I need more pain pills. Oh man, I'm going after. We're going after, oh, we're going after the Native American stuff now. After the Navajo scene. We are. I I want to give you a heads up. We're getting there, in terms of this game. Getting there, like almost done. Four scenes left in this game. Wow. Like, should we just power through it tonight, or should we? Quit I don't know, save man. It for I'm later? trying to. I don't know. Determine how long those scenes are. That's real. Um, all right. I'll, that last scene has one of the longest write-ups in the game. So I'll do that, like on this FAQ I'm looking at. Because um, otherwise, like maybe I'll just stop on this scene and we can finish up the last four scenes later on. I mean, we have people in the chat. Told Thomas says, "Can we stop? I need." Thomas sleep. is desperate to stop. He usually is. I don't know why you watch us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is archived too, right, Thomas? Thomas says, "Not small scene." <laughs> Still, but we're gonna finish this. I don't know, like I'm not as angry as you are. So I agree that this isn't necessarily That was a bad this So bad. this is Juno era Ellen Page, right? I'm guess says one of them is as long as the Call of Duty sequence, so yeah, we'll probably stop on this. We'll stop on this scene and then like finish later this week or something. Uh, yeah, I gotta work in the morning. Ish. Back. I'm just gonna write here. Yeah, that's a good we'll, idea. We'll start at the beginning of the scene next time. I'm glad that these two are getting some screen time, though. Yeah, yeah, me too. yeah for sure. I agree with that. That's that's good. And that, um, like, she's reciprocating <laughs> his affection for Wario, her. Wario 64 says, gotta go to sleep for that Nintendo Direct. I can't wait to oh, see. Oh, yeah, there's one in the morning. What that is all about. Um, mm -hmm. They said it's Wii U and 3DS releases through 2014. Through okay. spring 2014, I think they said. Yeah. Um, We're gonna get some one last little Year of Luigi thing for the. It's gonna be more, just more Cranky Kong. That's it. Just like no, 45 it's... minutes of more Cranky Kong. So wait, is Joel McHale going to be there? Because yeah. otherwise, why am I even going to tune in? Super Mario 3L World. <laughs> hey, everybody, Where there's for, three uh, Luigi's in it. Thanks for joining us to watch this weird fucking game that I still don't... I, I don't even like... I don't hate the game. Luigi I Kong? It. I don't, I don't it's really just know, Donkey Kong, but Luigi's in it? I don't really know what to think about this game. It's weird. Um, 
but I'm I, we will definitely finish it. I will stream the the ending later on. Uh, maybe 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 I'll end up doing that on like Thursday or Friday night. Um, a Luigi know, Between Worlds. I know you might not Luigi's be around host. Austin, but I'll deal with it. <laughs> Metroid Other L. <laughs> Twitter.com slash pcolor. Uh, hey, if you ever want to watch archives of our streams, that's at youtube.com slash And Right now, uh, today, I put up the, the first episode of us playing Ricochet. Advanced L. It's the Luigi War simulation. I hate you so much. Uh, and tomorrow is the second episode of us playing Ricochet, which has my favorite ending to one of our videos ever. Because it's just us sitting in a corner in a map, like throwing discs at each other. Um, oh, come on, oh, I L, remember L, that edition. You can be Luigi in a green and white, or in white and green. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you ever want to watch this live, twitch.tv slash Kafkatarin, where are you guys located? What are you guys doing on the internet? Austin, you go first. Fuck, I don't have another one. Uh, I'm Austin <laughs> Walker at Austin underscore Walker on Twitter, the Calcutech on Twitch, and I write stuff at clockworkworlds.com. Janine. Uh... <laughs> I'm Janine Hawkins. I'm at Bleating Heart on Twitch and Twitter and YouTube. And I post my links to my games writing on healerarchermage.com. And uh, I'm Jordan Mallory. I'm Jordan underscore Mallory on Twitter and on Twitch. And uh, I've got a YouTube channel that's youtube.com slash dumb combos. And there's some longer form stuff on there and some stream highlight videos from the last couple of times that I've streamed with some of these kids. And uh, You guys had better fucking believe that after we finish the game and we watch those credits roll, we are going to watch the origins of Beyond Two Souls. <laughs> we are going to fucking watch that. We're going to find out where did this weird Frankenstein game come from. Um, and that's going to fix everything. We're going we're gonna to understand. We're gonna, it's just David Cage's delicious library. We're going to tear out understanding from this game somehow. Luigi's Luigi, where Luigi goes into a haunted Luigi to get ghosts out. <laughs> uh, good night, everybody.